All right, thank you everybody for coming out tonight. My name is Alexander Voronov, Pittsburgh's Magnificent Mentalist. Not everybody knows what mentalism is. It's kind of a niche. And it hasn't been around as long as other forms of entertainment. The first mentalists were actually in the Victorian era. And we're going to recreate some of their experiments tonight. Take this card here. I want you to write down your favorite non-alcoholic drink on that. Don't show me. Put it face down on the table when you're done. On these next three cards, write down your favorite alcoholic drinks. And what I want you to do is, while my back is turned, rearrange those in any order you want, but keep them in a nice, neat row for me, OK? Can somebody do like an acapella of the Jeopardy theme, just to add a little more attention, a little more drama? I want you to focus on where the non-alcoholic drink is. Okay. Just focus on it. I'm going to try and find it. Pretty sure it's not this one. Let me check. Chardonnay. Yep. One for one so far. Pretty sure it's not that one either. Let me check. Cabernet. Two for two. I don't think that it's this one. Margarita. One of my favorites, actually. So that means the last one left must be ginger ale. Thank you. What I want you to do is write down a word, preferably a short one on that card. But to make things a little bit easier, I know how the hardest thing in the world can be turning anything into something. So I've got 40,000 words to pick from. I'm going to riffle down, stop me where you feel like. Right about there. All right. Pick a word from one of these two pages. D, the word is cord. Awesome. Thank you, Weston. All right, Aaron, what I want you to do first, imagine a name from your past, somebody that you knew personally. Just the first name. It'll make things a little bit easier. For the future, let's keep it relatively short scale. So think of something that you're planning to do tomorrow. Something else. I'm not writing that down. <laughs> now, finally, I want you to think of the card that you selected out of the deck that you have in your hands right now. I had you think of a name from your past, a card in your hand that you picked out of a deck, and something you were planning on doing tomorrow. I wrote all of them down on these little scraps of paper, dumped them in the cup, open the first one, any one, and read it out loud, please. That's one. Open another. Bone. <laughs> and the name from the past. Amy. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. So give Aaron a round of applause for being good sport. What I need from you guys is a collection of random objects. We need six random objects, one of each kind. So anything you have on you that you want to volunteer. <laughs> Danica, what I would like you to do is any one of those objects, just write one of them down for me. Don't show anybody else. Don't show the audience. Don't show the camera. Don't show the person who's standing outside the window right now. <laughs> Number them one through six, either Left to right or right to left, your choice. Good. Evens or odds? Odds. Odds. So take all the evens 
and move them into a pile on the corner there. Now, put your hands in the air like you don't care. What, are you left-handed or right-handed? Right. Put your right hand, point to one of those. Uh, one of the removed ones or one of the... Uh... One of the ones that are still there in the lineup. Now point to another one with your left hand. The al Now, which one? Altoids or spoon? Altoids. Altoids. Remove the spoon, please. Funny how that works out, because Danica, what was the item you wrote down? Altoids. <laughs> We're going to try one last experiment. We've shown that you guys do have a connection. Have you ever had a feeling, you feel so close to somebody, that when they're angry, you become angry? They get hurt, you can actually feel it yourself. Have you ever had that experience? Some of you have? We're going to try something on that scale. This, this doesn't involve being hit with something, does it? <laughs> no, that's a totally different show. Oh, okay, cool. In which case, I'd be asking you to stand closer toward the kill zone. <laughs> you can open your eyes now. Oh, okay. Did you feel anything? Yeah, it's not on my right shoulder. How many times? Only one? Might have been two. Might have been two. I didn't touch you. Ah. I was over here the whole time. I tapped Danica twice on her right shoulder. <laughs>